Hey everybody, it's Lon Saib and we've got a quick one today. This is the Aikaigu hard travel case for the Oculus Quest 2. And we're going to do a short review on this one and see how the Oculus fits in this thing in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for the case with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this case is all about. Now they call this a hard shell case, which it sort of is, but it is crushable. Um, so once we zipper it back up, it'll have a little bit more structure, but it's not like Samsonite. It's, you know, like a harder kind of fabric casing on it. So I would not consider this to be crush proof, um, but it does fit the Oculus quite nicely here. So I've got the standard strap on this. It'll also support the fancier uh, hard strap that Oculus has, and you can uh, put the rear portion in the back component here. Uh, you could also fit an extra face mask in there as well if you wanted. Uh, we'll get the controllers loaded in here. I just got to get them oriented in the right way. So let's get that in here like that. And we can put the other one in next to it and get that going. Now they do have like a little seat belt for the controllers. There we go. Um, but the seat belt doesn't keep the, um, doesn't keep the actual Oculus in safely. So if I were to turn this sideways like this, you can see the headset falls right out, but the controllers stay in. So there's a seat belt for the controllers, but not the more expensive part, which is the headset itself. So just be aware of that. And again, you got some room back here for uh, additional accessories, or if you have that longer strap, it'll dock itself in there. And then they also, on the back portion here, uh, have some pockets where you can put some stuff in. So you do get a good amount of storage on this, and then you just zip it up. And it's got a double zipper here, a nice strong zipper. And I think you're good to go. Now they say it's uh, waterproof, and I think the fabric portion is here, but I'm not sure about the zipper portion. I think water could probably get in uh, through the zipper. So if you go out in the rain, you might want to put a bag around it or something like that. And now that it's all put together, you can see that it, you know, it's not bad. It's got decent structure. Like I said, I think it's possible if you had some heavy things on it uh, that it could get crushed. But it does feel pretty good. I don't think you'll have any issues if it were to drop. You just want to be careful not to drop it from too high a place. It's certainly going to protect more than storing your Oculus in its box or something like that. Um, so you do have a little bit of room in here between the molding of where the headset goes and the actual outer portion of the case. So there is some room to absorb some energy if you were to drop it. Um, but overall, not a bad little travel case here for your Oculus. And I was just looking for something to store my Quest in, and this was pretty affordable, and I think a good way to get my Quest stored securely with a little bit of room to spare. That's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Brian Parker, Jim Peter, Tom Albrecht, Frank Lewandowski, Mark Bollinger, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.